Title, Brussels Bombing Drama, Six Drop the Guilty Mic, But Wait, Who's Counting? TL, DR, caught in Brussels hands out guilty verdicts like candy at Halloween to six suspects for the 2016 terror attack. The body count is now higher, and ISIS is still playing the blame game. The drama doesn't stop there, some were acquitted and there's a disappearing act you won't believe. Back in 2016, Brussels was rocked with explosions that might as well have been straight out of an action movie, but this was no cinematic thrill. It was very real and very tragic. Remember those terror attacks that had the whole world talking? Well, the courtroom drama surrounding it just came to a close and oh boy, it's juicy. First off, six of the ten on trial received a heavy slap with the terrorist murder label. Meet the freshly minted guilty crew, Muhammad Abrini, Osama Attar, Osama Krayam, Salah Abdeslam, Ali El Haddad Asufi, and Bilal El Makuki. The court, being all detective-like, confirmed that this lot's master plan was to scare the wits out of every Belgian and off as many people as they could. Talk about serious commitment issues. Plus, a side serving of you're also guilty of being in a terrorist group was dished out to them, as well as to Hervé Baynana Muhurwa and Sophie Nayori. Now, here's where it gets a little wild. The original death count was adjusted. Upwards. As if the tragedy wasn't bad enough already, it turns out more people were killed than initially reported. The number now stands at a staggering 36 lives lost. And yeah, ISIS is still running around saying, yep, we did that. Dive deeper, and the plot thickens. Remember Abdeslam? Dude already has a rap sheet from 2015, found guilty for some really bad stuff in Paris. Now, he's on an extended vacation in a French prison with no get-out-of-jail-free card. Ever. Then there's a Samaritar, who decided to play the classic Now You See Me, Now You Don't. He wasn't in court, and rumor has it he might have met his fate in Syria. Ghost or gone for good? The world may never know. But wait, there's a twist. Brothers Smail Farisi and Ibrahim Farisi said not today to all charges, and the court was like, all right, cool acquitted and out of there. With evidence from more witnesses and experts than you can shake a stick at, Belgium wrapped up its most massive trial ever. Oh, and a little tidbit on the side, Belgium, around the time of the attacks, had a serious problem. Loads of folks were hopping on planes to join the likes of ISIS. More than any other place in the European Union. Food for thought. So, what do we make of all this? On one hand, justice seems served, but on the other, is it enough? And with Belgium once being a hotspot for wannabe terrorists, what does the future hold? Are these verdicts a strong enough deterrent for others? What's your take? And seriously, where on earth is Osama Attar?